What's going on guys? Today we have a whole case of unlicensed sports cards. It is 2022 Keepsake Multisport. It's a five box case for several hundred dollars. And I want to compare it to the Panini and Top stuff that we usually open on this channel, which is licensed. So if you guys like this stuff, you want to see more fun stuff with cards, like this, not like this, drop a like, subscribe, helps us do tons more. Press those buttons down below. It is free and also enters you into the giveaway when you comment as well. So like, sub, comment, and the current giveaway is a 2324 Prison Basketball Hobby Box. So free to one person who likes, subs, and comments. That's it. Information down below, if that's over, a new one should be live. But this is the set that I saw and very badly want to try on paper, at least on this little piece of paper, the sticker. It looks awesome. I mean, Giannis, Curry, there's Messi, AI. Now, unlicensed, there's Giannis in a suit. There is uh, you know Curry wearing a tank top and stuff like that. So no Warriors, no Sixers jerseys, things like that but it still looks cool on paper. So let's see how this set is and what are your thoughts on unlicensed sets down below? They are much cheaper, but once again, no logos and less desirability amongst collectors from what I've seen. So here's the information. It's in the low to mid hundred dollar range for a box. So, you know, maybe in the 150 range, higher or lower, give or take 25 bucks. And then cases, you know, that times five, like several hundred. And uh, once again, unlicensed, but multi-sport. So I know each box comes with one card. I don't know exactly the details. It could be a million cards for all I know, but I know there's at least one card, which it should be for several hundred dollars, no cards. Would not be good. So five box cases, once again, the boxes should be pretty nice. Like I think light up boxes. Signers, Messi, Giannis, there's Curry, uh, Tyson. There's Pele, AI, Griffey, Marvin Harrison Jr. and more multi-signed cards, gem cards, cuts, and memorabilia. Look for all that. So very intriguing. And uh, yeah, let's open this up. Let's see if it's good, bad, in the middle. I actually have no clue. And we're gonna find out together. There could be a rock in this box. And honestly, it's my fault. I really have no clue what I bought. I've seen this and you've seen this. We know the same amount of information now. So let's see. Okay. So they're the boxes and I'll just turn this upside down. Okay, don't mind the uh, lighting. Doesn't like the boxes. Okay, there we go. And, okay. Sorry about the uh, lighting and mess, but there are the boxes. So, put these guys here. And here we go. 2022. It is very far from 2022, although Panini isn't much further along. So, I mean, I guess that's on par. And um, that's pretty much it. The box is simple, one autograph and one pack. I don't think I said that anywhere when I bought this, which is why I said just one card. All right, let's rip and let's see what we got. Actually, look at the box. I have no clue where to even cut this. I'm trying to find a spot to cut, but there's no spot to cut. Maybe here, I think, where the seal is. Very tough to see. This wrapping was hiding the spot, but the sticker gave it away. All right. And that was the smallest cut I could have made. I don't know why I do that every time. Okay, here we go. Time for some big hits with a question mark at the end. I love a Giannis, Curry, Messi. And I forgot I pre-ordered this. A long time ago, like months ago, I saw it, pre-ordered, and then it showed up. I was like, oh yeah. Well, I was not like, oh yeah. I had to look at my archives and then I saw, oh yeah, okay. I guess I did order it. So now we are trying unlicensed high-end sets, I guess, if that's a thing. Okay, the box feels, feels nice. There we go, okay. And Keepsake Edition, okay. Has like a rubbery matte feel to it. Let's see our cards. Here we go. I'll get then some better focus for us. I think that should be good. Okay, let's see what's in this box. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but let's find out together. Okay, there's a pack right here. We now know, as of seconds ago, there's a pack. 2022 keepsake. Football edition? Okay. Um, okay. The product is and should be multi-sport. This pack doesn't really open. Okay. Let's try this side. There we go. Hey, you know what? Trying new things. This is like super glued together. Okay, there we go. I think I got it. So we have a bunch of Chrome cards, football cards, I guess. Jordan Addison to 150. 
all unlicensed, but all right, there we go. So that's the design. What do you guys think? Spencer Ratwood at 199. Design isn't bad. Sets in Bennett to 100. And Mario Williams to 199. Okay, um, that's confusing. Why is there a football pack in here? I don't know. There you go. So, non license, just says very generic stuff, no logos, and unfortunately, in the hobby, that's not very popular. But let's see if we can get some cool stuff because that is popular. Card number one, high end card number one. It is. Okay. Oh, and there's lights, I forgot. Yeah, a little light. Yeah. Look at that. Sheesh. Panini could never. That's really cool, actually. Hakez Jr. to 50. I don't believe he signs with Panini. They dropped the ball and have, like, no one signing this year. 45 of 50. And here's the cool about these. So, once again, you guys like these? Want to see more? Drop a like, subscribe. We'll do some more. This is just something I want to try, and here we go. So, this is the exact shoe in this card. I don't know if it's game worn or just a shoe. I don't mention that, but um, yeah, okay. Authentic item. Hmm. Him and Scotty Barnes, some more autographs, but that's a cool one. He's a very good rookie this year. So, all right, one down. Honestly, I like that. Let's see if we can go two for two. So, because he has no licensed autographs, I mean that's something there. So, let's try a box. Number two, and get a nice cut there. There we go. I'd love to see, hmm, how about a Giannis, Curry, Messi, or Pele would be really cool. Because other guys that, I mean, not Curry so much, he does sign, but I very rarely see autographs of for various reasons. Okay. Time to open another box of Keepsake. Here we go. Show me the money question mark. Pack first of football cards. So serious question. How much would you pay for the card you see here? Individually or all together? Does it turn you off that there's no logos? Some people I've heard say, I will never buy those cards. I usually don't buy too many of them. Some people say, ooh, nice. I like it. It's cool. Maybe cheaper. Various reasons and do buy them. So what should these be worth? Huh. Okay. Walter Camp to 199. All right. Jalen Waddle to 100. I wonder why they're all in college jerseys. These guys were in college at the time, but you could also do the NFL kind of um, logo, water brush, whatever it's called. So, yeah, there you go. I mean, cool. Next box. I don't know what to make of those football cards, but these should be cool. The lights. Where are the lights? All the lights. Oh, what's this? I think we have two cards in here. Hello? We have two cards. The light is on. There we are. What's that? Let's, uh... Where do you open this? I don't want to spoil it, but... Intriguing. Very intriguing. A little bonus hit? Question mark? Raise eyebrow... Hello? John Morant to 50? Okay. With, um, like an emerald, maybe? First ever gem patch. I guess. Well, there's the gems used. So, I guess that's a, uh, green onyx? Is the jersey game worn? It just says authentic. It's not clear. And that card's not even sleeved. It's just sitting in a top loader. <laughs> what the heck? Not taped, not sleeved, nothing. It's just literally chilling in the top loader. All right, let's see this card. That is bizarre. That being said, I am enjoying this. It's fun and funny to see. And some cool stuff. Ty Simpson to 99, okay. First ever 
patch autograph? This is a football. Oh, hello? Wait, what? That's not a football. Is that a football? I'm uh, inspecting it closely. And it is not. So I don't know what's going on here. That's very, very interesting. Yeah, no way is that a piece of a football. So what's going on there? Unless I'm just tripping, but... Okay, well, there's our uh, Ty Simpson. Here's the jaw. Might as well save it and take it out of here. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay. Yeah, a piece of a jersey and... um. Okay. Wow. I believe he has autograph in here too, but... No sleeve? That should fit in something. There we go. All right. That's two down. Time for number three. This has been... um. A fun ride. An interesting ride. But a fun ride. What are your thoughts so far? Like it? Love it? In the middle? Hate it? I don't even know what to make of it so far. It's been, uh... This is a roller coaster. There's some ups. There's some downs. Some loops. And... You have not finished the ride yet. Rating coming soon. In terms of a thumbs up, down, or in the middle. Okay, next one. Time for our third surprise. I'm ready. Here's our pack of football cards. Yeah. I also bought a football version. So what's in there? If football cards are in here. Uh, Alright. To 100. Brian Robinson Jr. Jordan Davis, John Mechie, and, uh, oh, there you go, AP 150. All right. So far, I'm really not sure. Did I throw my money in the garbage can, or is this a fun, great use of it? I'm torn. Another. Yeah, another one. Here we go. All right. No sleeves, I'm guessing. I'll take a look. Do I want to know? Oh. Okay. Tough to get out. Okay, there's the first one. I think there's a third card in here. But they're kind of stuck. Alright, let's see this first. I don't think I have a choice. They're all jammed in there. Alright. Mark Jackson to 50. Looks like a piece of a shoe. First ever patch autograph? Really? That is surprising. I feel like he's had some before now. Maybe not, which is crazy. Because Benini has him signing, not all the time, but I've seen him before. There's the shoes. I mean, those have to be worn, right? Look at that. All right. God bless. With all due respect, Mark Jackson. Put it there. Okay, what's in here? is what it was I feeling before I don't know I'm confused it's Haley Van Lith now it doesn't mention the jersey this is uh, very odd so is it just me or would I rather see where the jersey's from or the relic than the gem this doesn't change anything right I don't know in this top order I'll leave it in Haley Van Lith her first Bowman just came out and uh, includes a gemstone and a jersey, but the gemstone is the one highlighted, despite being the kind of lesser relic here. Okay. Interesting. Haley Van Lith. Yeah. I don't know um, what to say. And there's the bag. Next one. This is... It's a good time, at least to me. New experience. I mean, after Panini, I've already seen it all, so... Next one up. Here we go. So I also have the football version, which I have no clue what to expect with that one. Maybe there's a basketball pack in there. But for several hundred, it's fun. It's cool. There's a lot of errors and questionable, I guess, uh, design choices. But, I mean... Probably better than I could have done. Alright. Let's see. At least. Actually. 
in terms of making the product. Because for everything I'm complaining about, there's a lot done right. Or well, I should say. Okay. There we go. Here's the football pack. So there's anywhere from like five to six cards, it seems. I thought it was just one. There's Brock Purdy. Two off from uh, 14 there. One off also. So there you go. 199. There's Jerry Rice. And all NFL, Dan Marino. And T Law. Okay. Little chrome action. Put it there. Here we go. The lights are bright. Oh. When I named all those guys earlier, I probably should have included this one too. That was way too loud. My bad. I could have lost a finger there. That's a safety hazard. Okay. Jeez. That came crashing down. Wow. To 99, Marvin Harrison Jr., piece of football. That's pretty nice right now. Oh, there's the football. Okay, so that makes sense. Hmm. I like that. I believe they're all sticker autos, it seems. Which is unfortunate. You know, unlicensed and stickers, but... Looks nice, for the most part. At least designed itself. A lot of white space, but... Clean, I guess. And, um... Yeah. There you go. Marvin Harrison Jr. That's probably the best one... Yet? Marquez is nice. Last one. What a rip. And this one's already cut for us. Wow. Thank you, keepsake. Thank you very much. Save me a good uh, eight hours there. All right. Can we get Messi? Can we get Pele? Here we go. And don't get in the way of the cutter. Okay. Here we are, the final box of 2022 keepsake. Oh, wait, this one says 2023. Whoa, guys. So they all say keepsake, but this is 2023. That's really interesting. Is this the hit of the case? All right, guys, I'm excited. This guaranteed messy. Here we go. That could be nothing. Could be something. So 2022 in the pack, 2023 in the box. Four of them say nothing. All right. And get this open. This is really sealed. Okay. 200. Um, Grayson McCall. Setson Bennett. Dallas Turner and Walter Camp. Rainbow incoming. Guys, here goes nothing. 2023. Scary. Scary. Oh, whoa. Guys, whoa. 2023 is getting glitchy. It's still a year off. We're in 2024 now, but here we are. Bro, it's thick. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? What is that? Okay, this is one of the craziest products I've ever opened for various reasons. I have no clue what this is. Let's see. Okay, can I get it out? There we go. Oh man, this is uh, something else. What are your thoughts on this video? Do you like trying new stuff? Like what you see? If you want to see more, drop a like, subscribe, also comment. If you want to enter the giveaway. And um, let's see this one first. The back one. And we'll do some more. If you have recommendations or suggestions, comment those as well. I'll try to pick them up. Uh, Antoine Wells Jr. And uh, it is sleeved. 1099. Okay. There we are. What is this? That's styrofoam, I think. All right. It is. What the heck? This is... Completely like weightless. What is this? To 50 in a giant team bag? Guys, hold on. Okay. There's the gem is not on here. The shoes are Marvin Harrison Jr. It's to 50. 
That's styrofoam. It's, I can squeeze it. It's literally styrofoam. What the heck? <laughs> what is this? This is card and that's styrofoam. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that before. Inside. Look, you can see the walls in there. It's literally just cut out in the middle. I'm just gonna touch it. There's the piece of the shoe. There's the gem. I don't know what gem because not listed on here. Oh, there it is. Sorry. I lied. They just don't show the picture. Um, yeah, that, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Um, my thoughts, and I'm trying to gather myself here. It was fun. It was creative. Execution and, uh, I guess the construction of these cards definitely needs some improvement. Presentation, the boxes were nice. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously unlicensed, so we'll see what these go for. If you like any of these cards, they'll probably be my upcoming auctions. And yeah. Links down below, you can get some credit off your first purchase. I do them on whatnot. Um, but yeah, that was... Okay, we did it. We uh, opened the whole case, and... I don't know if I want to say good, bad, or in the middle. I'm just going to say in the middle, because there's a lot of good and a lot of bad. So, here's a recap. We got this guy here. No tape or anything like that, so almost fell out of there. We have literally a styrofoam card falling apart in my hands. Look at that. It's literally falling apart. I've never seen that before. It's just styrofoam in the middle. That's it. Got another Marvin Harrison Jr. Like it's all my, the card is falling apart. It's crumbling. Marvin Harrison Jr. That's probably the best one. Or one of the best two or three. We have, with all due respect, Mark Jackson. Haley Van Lith. With no sleeve. All right. And how about John Morant? Jersey. Don't know if it's from, I don't know. From Fanatics, if it's Game Worn, I have no clue. We have all these Chrome cards and empty top loader. We also have more Chrome cards. They're all football. Yeah, this was one of the most bizarre and unique experiences ever. Not just in cards for me. Because the product listing says one kind of card like this. We ended up getting like 50 cards. Marquez Jr., that's another nice one. Ty Simpson. With a football relic. Look at that nice football. My favorite two, the best two, are probably these guys. And uh, gotta hold this guy up. So overall, it's um, it's its own thing. I can't really compare it to anything. Will they fetch a pretty penny? We'll find out. I want to say, you know, they'll pull something, but nothing massive. Uh, his cards could be pretty nice. These two guys right now. And... Um, yeah, definitely want to see some, if we try these again or see more from them in the future, some better construction because this card is literally falling apart. Um, on card would be nice. Obviously, more kind of design with it. Consistency on the back and more kind of details as to, you know, this is cool, but it doesn't say anything about the item. It just says authentic, you know? So, there we go. But uh, overall, it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually did, despite just being all over the place. It's definitely a different experience, but I think a good one. So, that's it, guys. Long uh, review of a very interesting product. If you want to see more, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you should try, and we'll definitely try some more. So thank you guys always for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.